doesn't appear to be any. I mean, they're good. Ground support for the car. Um, airway on the And then check for massive bleed. Airway would have been second. So you check for... Over is first. Over is first. Over's first. All the yellows. Yellows. Yellow. There you go. Wrap your legs. There you go. 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 You got one more under and then you're done. My name is Specialist Seibel. I'm with the 525th Military Working Dog. Sorry. Specialist Seibel. I'm with the 525 Military Working Dog Detachment in Vincenza, Italy. Um, I would say the most challenging part would be the ability to have to mentally focus after being physically drained. We had a, a vet lane that required a lot of focus and attention to detail uh, immediately following a confidence course. So it was, it was a little difficult to run into the vet lane out of breath and have to get, get down to the details of treating your military working dog. Uh, so they've kind of kept it a little on the hush because they don't want to get any spoilers out there. but. Um, Definitely the detection lane aspects. My dog's very good when it comes to OB and patrol, but the detection lanes are always, you know, they, they try and be sneaky with some plants and, and hide some drugs in hard spots. So that'll be a little difficult. What are you most excited for? Uh, I'm most excited for the patrol aspect. Like I said, my dog excels in patrol and obedience and I love doing it and I know my dog loves doing it. So ready to get out there and, and bite some bad guys. I'm Specialist with Elizabeth Nechke. I am from the 100th Military Police Detachment, Military Working Dog Section. Winning, honestly, it's not the most important thing because I know that my dog and I are a fantastic team together. So if we win, it's just an extra, you know, pep in our step to go and brag to all the older teams like, hey, we're, we've been working together less than a year and we still won, so <laughs> have fun. <laughs> it's more of a bragging right instead. Yep, Alexander Larson, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R-L-A-R-S-O-N. -E and sir, what is your role in this competition? So I'm the commander of the Combined Military Working Dog Detachment Europe. Uh, we, as a combined detachment, have put together this competition to allow all the Army dogs in Europe to come together um, with the hand-selected teams to try and compete for the title of the best working dog in Europe. So I'm, as the commander, I'm facilitating the, the event. Being, a, being a, a working dog handler is a very unique job in the Army. Um, and it, a lot of times uh, it comes down to the extra effort and the extra time that you put into your uh, training with your dog, right? Um, I, I would say that, you know, NCOs, maybe they have a little bit more experience with, uh, with techniques for training, but, um, you know, building that rapport with, and that relationship with your working dog comes down to that, that handler's actions and their drive and motivation. So really it's anybody's game at this point.